Hi fellas, uh, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about um, configuring or setting up your NASA with the AT10. Okay, so procedure will be almost almost the same for the uh, AT9. You're going to need the you're going to need an R9D receiver. Remember, only this receiver will do S bus. The R10D will not do S bus. Right, guys? So the same screwdriver and battery. So first of all, you connect the same way your receiver to the nozzle connects to the X2 port and this one will go to the um, channel 9 or S bus port right there. Negative towards the outside signal towards the inside, okay? Towards this side over here. So that's all there is to it. Connect your your NASA to your computer. First of all, let's put the receiver on. Um, you can connect the the NASA already. The USB to the NASA. Go ahead and connect it to your computer, like so, and power up your NASA. Okay, so first of all, let's um, put our receiver into SBUS. So let's go ahead and press twice on the R9. We got the bluish kind of stuff right there. Just turn on your radio, your radio link, and go to same stuff. Go to your NASA assistant. Again, bear with me with the camera stuff. So, on the assistant, go ahead and choose your basic. Sorry, basic. D bus, same stuff. And go ahead and calibrate your sticks. Start calibration, same stuff. Go ahead and put your sticks, just roll them around, around and around. Put them more or less in the middle. Oh, one other thing I forgot to mention is to calibrate your sticks on your radio first. I already showed you guys how to do that, um, to calibrate your sticks. The same procedure for the AT9 is for the AT10, works the same way. So, um, that being done, go ahead and check your mappings. So let's see what we got. Um, so okay, we got X1 over here on switch C. Um, on switch C, X1 over there. As you can see, it's moving. Uh, let me see. Nothing else is mapped. Nope. And VR. Okay, we got X2. This is from um, stock settings. X2 is on VR A and U is on VR C right here. Okay, this will move the U, the flight mode. So all you need to do is again go to mode, go to your settings, let me just put this again. Sorry with the camera and stuff. And okay, here we go. So just go ahead and select your um, menu. This firmware is not available yet for you guys, but it will be on the AT10 with the, the different um, backlight. So go ahead to parameter, go ahead to advanced attitude. Same stuff, it will be on channel 6. Okay, so at this point is on switch C. C is this one. Okay, so I'm sorry, again. Channel 5. Channel 5 will be on switch C. And just, just for checking. Okay, perfect. So, for your flight modes, it's channel 7. Okay, I'm sorry, channel 7. 
So go ahead and select your three position switch. For me, again, I like it on this side, on your, my left side, so I'm going to use E. So let's change to E. Okay. And for the two position switch, I'm going to go with D again, my oh crap switch right here. So let's select switch D. Okay. So same stuff like on the um, like on the 89. So normal. Let's change this the reading what reads here. Sorry. So normal. I'm gonna go with um, ATI. So attitude GPS. And here I'm gonna put um, fail safe and auxiliary channel fail safe. Okay, same stuff. So let's check the NASA. So first position, it's off. Let's change the rate right here. So let's go to the rate of that and start scrolling around until we reach the, it's sliding over there, until we reach manual. Okay, perfect, manual. So next stuff, let's go to attitude. Attitude right here. It's going into fail safe. So let's change the rating, the rates on that. Go to attitude right there. Perfect. And then let's go to um, GPS. Okay, and it's going way off. Let's select GPS and roll it until we got GPS lit over there on the NASA. Right, like so. So first module, first flight modes are done. Okay, so now let's go to the fail safe. So let's switch, let's turn on switch D. It's actually going to fail safe, but I'm gonna set the rating to the exact position that I want to. Right smack in the middle. Perfect. So 38%. Again, the same values for for the the AT7 has for the AT9. More or less the same. So you can go ahead and put 38% on all of the other um, ratings, and you'll get the exact same stuff, the exact same position. For the for all modes, so 38%. So now I'm in manual. I I I, I push switch D. We go to fail safe. I'm in attitude mode. I press switch D. Fail safe. I'm in GPS mode. I press switch D or toggle it and go to fail safe. So. Flight modes, we're done. So next thing we're going to have to do is check our um, check our channel five and six for X one and X two. Same stuff. Go to go to um, auxiliary channels right here. And channel five, we're going to put uh, put it on. Let's see, VRA. Okay. So we got both slides, right? As you can see, I got channel five and six on VRA and both slides right there, our sliders are going left and right. And let's put channel six again on our switch G right here for um, home lock and course lock. That, that's gonna be our, let me just check. Our X2 on switch uh, G. So here we go, switch G. Now exit that. So we got X1 on the VR right here. As you can see, it's going side to side. Calibrate it. Start calibration. Calibrate your knob one way to, all, all to, to both sides of it to the, the both extremes put it on the center plus press finish and then um, go to your advanced 
intelligent orientation control and you got your switch um, you got your switch right here switching from positions all you need to do and this is more a thing that I like to do is uh, reverse the uh, channel in order to get off in that position and home lock in this one so that's it guys this is all there is to it to configure the same procedure to configure the AT10 has the AT9 so hope this was helpful and I'll see you guys next time thanks for watching bye bye guys